Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, hey my crafty besties. If you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would love if you would take a moment to subscribe and turn on your bell notifications so that you won't miss any of my crafty uploads. All right guys, so I am back today with another collaboration with my BFF, Betty Scrap Passion 01. So many of you may be saying, gosh, you guys have a lot of collaborations going on. And that is true. And if you have missed them, you have been missing a treat. So I will have a link to all of the collaborations down below if you would like to um, catch up on some of the things that we have been doing. But essentially, guys, what it is, is just helping us stay on top of crafting and making sure that we continue to do the things that we love. I know speaking for myself, I am super busy. And so a lot of times I am just not able to turn on the camera to actually record. Um, so I may do some crafty things and projects, but I'm unable to kind of sit down and record. So this is actually keeping me on top of things and staying crafty and using guys all of the things I have in my stash, right? All right, so enough of that rambling. I am excited to share with you guys the uh, Gingerbread Fever uh, project today. This is a collaboration that Betty actually done a couple years ago and it was so fun. And I really enjoyed all of the gingerbread things that she created. And so this year she brought it back and I joined her in the collaboration. So let me share with you guys what I created. I decided to create this shadow box and it has, you know, this beautiful paper all around it. And this is a digital paper that I got offline. I did paint this shadow box here. I picked it up from Hobby Lobby and um, it's so fun. I did some distressing on the front part here. These are some ornaments that I picked up from um, Hobby Lobby last year. And I just put them on the front and created this little village here since we were doing gingerbread projects. So, and I love how this kind of sits down inside of the box. It's a really beautiful decorative piece that I can have in my craft room. I did paint it pink and um, yeah, so let me take it out of the box. All right, I wanted to share um, with you guys how I also just added that paper down at the bottom there. I'm trying to keep that glare out. So it's so pretty um, that you can just just actually see that pretty paper. All right, so here is the little flip book mini album that I created. On the front, I kept it really simple, guys. I just added some of that really pretty mesh trim from the Dollar Tree. And then I used a die and used some foam and created this gingerbread house here. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up. So on the front here, I used a gingerbread die that I picked up from I believe it was Amazon, but I think you can actually find it on AliExpress. Um, and so I just did some distress, you know, distressing around with some vintage photo. I added some little heart gems there. And then this really cute little um, flower there in the center. This paper is so, so pretty. And so you really don't have to use a lot for this um, album. And on the second page here, I created a shaker using this die here that I picked up from, um, I believe AliExpress as well, or it may have been Amazon, not quite sure, um, but it is a KS Craft die. And I can tuck, you know, a photo down um, in there. The reason why I wanted to do this little album is because I am always cooking with my grandchildren and we do lots of cookies and things like that. So I wanted to um, create something that I can house some of our photos in. All right, here's a little shaker that I created. And as you can see, I can also stick a photo behind that. I use this gingerbread die here. All right, here is the die, the shaker die that I use for... Um, to create that. I just used some gold mirror cardstock uh, and, and some really shimmery pink paper there to create this shaker. All right. And then here, this was a SVG print and cut file that I um, cut out and I just added the cute little bears to this paper. And then again, I just um, sized it a little bit bigger here. I had this little graham cracker um, embellishment that I created in my stash, so I just added that. I can also tuck a photo up under the bottom of, of that there as well. So this is a flip book. As you can see, you can flip through and see all of the um, cute little 
pages that I have in this album. And on the back, I just have the same paper that I have on the front here. So this is a really fun, cute, simple album that I created that, again, is going to house all of my cookie um, photos that I have with my grandchildren. And I love that I can put it inside of this shadow box. It's really um, a really decorative piece that I can have. So guys, don't forget to go over and check out Betty Scrap Passion 01's channel and see what she created on today. We will come on every Monday at 6 p.m. to um, showcase our gingerbread uh, um, project. So thanks guys so much for stopping by my channel today. I'll talk to you in my next crafty video. Bye guys.